Welcome back to Investor Intel. Today we have Ms. Investor Intel herself, Tracy Wislowski, as our special guest. Hi, Tracy. Thanks, Peter. It's always good to see you. What are you seeing at Investor Intel these days? What's trending? Well, trending is one of my favorite parts of our site because it shows us where our readers are going and what they're interested in. It usually gives us some indicators on what's hot in the market, and what's rising. And this week we have a lot of people looking at uranium. Why uranium? Well, they're looking at all critical materials. Uranium's leading the charge with the Petition 232. The Chinese, U.S. trade wars are definitely drawing a lot of investors interested in sustainability, looking at, of course, uranium for that very reason. Are you seeing anything new or unusual at Investor Intel? Um, we actually, well, we're always seeing something new and unusual. I, I'm finding it fascinating this week that not only are we having a huge influx in interest in gold, but we're not seeing any changes in the gold junior prices yet. Why do you think that is? Well, actually, we've done a couple of really good interviews we plan on publishing here this next week where we answer that question, but some of our top experts like Tom Meredith of West Red Lake was telling me that we should see that translation when gold Believe it or not, some of them, some of our, our associates are telling us they expect gold to break 1700 U.S. dollars. That's correct. Thank you. And Well, gold recently hit a high in Australia, in Australian dollars, so we always need to clear up the currency. Um, so what can we expect next from Investor Intel? Okay, well, Investor Intel is always looking at what works. We love seeing dark horses, companies that are achieving milestones on regular, on a regular a timeline that have amazing management that we think are undervalued. So right now we're looking at doing uh, regular uh, investor uh, presentations, uh, something called the II6 Summit series. So if you're an accredited investor out there or someone directs your own portfolio and you're interested in meeting the CEOs, send me an email. We'd love to get to know you. And do you have one scheduled? Yeah, we do have one scheduled for Thursday, August the 8th. And, you know, we're just going to take six CEOs at a time, 90 minutes, and have them do 12-minute presentations to one group of table, five to seven people, uh, and we'll have them do it six times over the 90 minutes. Sounds like speed dating. It is. But we're, we do believe that in addition to looking at charts, in addition to looking at their news releases, in addition to looking at their financials, and of course always doing your due, own due diligence, I always like to meet the jockey. Tracy, I noticed that you're writing again. Well, Peter, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, not only am I writing a regular column weekly now, but I'm wondering if we can get the same from you. I can't make that absolute commitment, but I will try. I've got one half written for you now. Okay, Peter, as always, it's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.